today in this video i am going to discuss fragmentation and tcp ip window sliding first of all why do we need fragmentation packets larger than mdu can be sent across the network by breaking them into smaller fragments then reassembled at the receiver these packets are reassembled on the basis of identification fragmentation flags and fragmentation offset fields in the header how fragmentation works consider a datagram of 4482 bytes in which 20 bytes are header and 4462 are data to be sent across a network allowing only 1500 mtu the router first checks that the df flag of that datagram can be fragmented or not if it can be fragmented then it breaks the datagram into three fragments of 1480 bytes each and one fragment of 22 then adds a header of 20 bytes the receiver reassembles the packet and checks for missing packet by means of mf flag and a timer second sliding window protocol TCP includes a memory buffer that sits between the application layer, for example, HTTP protocol or FTP protocol, and the lower layer that receives data. The buffer allows TCP to receive and process data independently of the upper application. In other words, TCP can use this buffer space to read ahead while the upper application processes the data. How TCP IP sliding works? First of all, receiver will advertise its window size. In the given example, it, it has the window size of 2500 bytes. Uh, the, the sender will send multiple octets. It has sent the thousand octets. Then it waited for the acknowledgement and the window advertisement of the receiver. Again, it sends thousand octets, that is 1001 to 2000 octets, and then received for the second acknowledgement and the window size, that is 500. And third time, it is sent the octets from 2001 to 2500 and waited for the acknowledgement. Now the receiver shows that the window size is zero. Now the sender must have to wait for the receiver to empty its buffer. That is, uh, the window must be greater than zero before the sender could send the octets again. And same thing happens again and again. This is how window sliding works in transmission control protocol. Thanks for watching.